What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I decided to do a part two of HCMC and really give a breakdown of what I think can happen based off each scenario that I have um, written here for you guys. So currently HCMC is sitting at 0.004250. It hit a high of 0 0.0060 uh, not too long ago. I think this has lots of potential left. I think they have a great chance of winning the lawsuit or getting some nice big payout from a settlement. So I did a breakdown for you guys to really see what I'm talking about and what I think can happen with different scenarios. All right, so I currently hold 100,000 shares of uh, HCMC. Uh, my average right now is 0 0.0016. I bought HCMC using uh, TD Ameritrade. Uh, I know lots of people are using the Robinhood and I'm not sure if Webull has um, HCMC, but I don't use Webull at the moment. So I know Fidelity and TD Ameritrade are the two places you can buy HCMC if you are not in it yet. So keep that in mind. So the current stage we are in right now is people are starting to pick up on HCMC and lots of people are buying large quantities, whether they're doing day trading or swing trading for a couple of days, or we have some people out there who are holding it long term. Okay. The stock price, um, we saw a huge boom happen from 0.001 to 0.0059. And um, that's to me, is just the beginning of an upward trend that we may see because HCMC is starting to pick up momentum and you're starting to see it everywhere now. So before when I bought in, I didn't see it many places, but now people are starting to really talk about HCMC and I'm seeing it everywhere. Uh, I know lots of people who are currently holding HCMC and whether it's for a short term or long term uh, people have mixed opinions uh, So for the lawsuit itself, I believe there's a small chance of this happening But if HCMC loses the lawsuit, I still uh, Believe that the company has potential to grow but I do think that the price will drop back down to If not where it is now, maybe even lower for a while and if a victory happens, I believe um there's a couple outcomes that can happen. First of all, HCMC could receive a settlement of $2 billion from Philip Morris, or they could re receive a loyalty uh, per item that was um, patented from Philip Morris, and that will help HCMC make lots of money. And if that happens, I think it can go to potentially anywhere from five to, to 20 cents. Uh, and if you buy in now, five to 20 cents, you can still make really good money off it. I don't see it hitting a dollar anytime soon or six dollars or five dollars anytime soon maybe if they win the lawsuit uh company grows maybe in three to five years they can hit a dollar or go beyond that but that's just based off of what i've read about the company and their long-term goals and the leadership they have right now so moving on for post lawsuit results if they lose okay so i think they have a bright future ahead of them but if they lose I think that in the next five, 10 years, they have a solid foundation already set for themselves. They can build themselves back up. So if you're in it for the long term run, awesome. Great. But if you're in it for a quick buck, it can go either way. Okay. So I also think that one other thing that can help out HCMC is if they do um, a buyback after settlement. So if HCMC buys back their shares, this can help the uh, price of the of HCMC skyrocket depending on how many shares they want to buy back and it can go anywhere from a penny to five pennies depending on how large uh, the buyback is and also what else could help them a lot is if they do a reverse split so if they do a reverse split it won't have a immediate impact on their on the stock getting value but it can go from an OTC to an actual stock exchange and it'll be available on more platforms like Robinhood. And I guarantee if we get lots of Robinhood investors to buy an HCMC, this price can just shoot up to about 10, 15, 20 cents. So long story short, this stock is not gonna hit a dollar or $5, $6 anytime soon. And if you guys are in it for long term, great. I personally, if it goes to 10, 15, 20 cents, I might take half profit and keep half my half my shares for a long term and I just won't touch it. Um, that's just me. Uh, some people are in it for a long term, some are short, some are just swing trading this, day trading it. Depends on what you're comfortable with. But what I can say is 
Invest in a company you believe and don't chase the stock because you're seeing it everywhere, okay? Read about the company, read about the lawsuit, okay? And understand what's happening, understand why the lawsuit's taking place. And once you're able to understand all that, if you're so confident about buying a CMC, okay, and understand the company as a whole, then fantastic, hold it, buy it, and sell it when you're comfortable selling it. But don't go in into this stock because we're all buying it, okay? And I, I, I wanted to come bring this video out today and let you guys know that I am in it because I want to be transparent about whether I'm in it or not and what my average is because I don't want to have you guys think that I'm buying it at a high price and then I sell now and then I take, take, my, take my profits and then you guys are buying in late and then it drops back down and you guys are out of your money. I think that's unfair. I don't think it's ethical. And that's why I decided to make today's video and tell you guys my average, tell you guys how many shares I have because that gives me uh, a good feeling to let you guys know, okay, I'm honest with, with, with the audience. They know what my average is. And so if you guys do decide to buy in, buy in at a good average, try your best to average down. If you buy a bit too high, it's okay. Um, and just know this, right, this lawsuit right here can go either way. 50-50. And whether you're in it for the long run, short run, it's up to you. So I wanted to cover that today, folks. Um, thank you again for your positive feedback on the last video. If you guys have any questions or comments, again, drop them down below. I'll be glad to help you guys out. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me. It also helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.